my friends from Mercedes GP Petronas. I have the pleasure of explaining the news of this year's regulation. We start right in the front and talking about the tires. This year, Pirelli tires. And obviously our job is to get used to those tires and change the car in terms of its character and adapt it to the tire character that uh, obviously they're different to what we used to. We go back uh, a little bit further to the middle of the car that is concerning the steering wheel. And on the steering wheel we have uh, a nice surprise and we're talking of this boost button. It's called the Curse system and that is an energy saving system due to the brake effort that you put. You may reuse on driving on straights to sort of extrahate the extra power that is available. Those times are obviously limited uh, and you may choose when to use them. Then we go further through all the news that the car anyway has, and I come to that later. We go to the rear wing, and the rear wing is a new innovation done by the FIA in order to improve overtaking. Because overtaking in Formula One has not been uh, uh, very often recently, and due to the, uh, the rear wing, we can adjust this only in certain moments in the race. Uh, not all time, obviously, and only the car is behind uh, to make an overtaking maneuver. It may allow you to come close to the car. It's not guaranteed you will overtake. And that is something that needs to be maybe fine-tuned together with the FAA, but uh, for me, a very interesting innovation in order maybe to improve overtaking in future you see it can move like this and it's pretty safe because as soon as you let the button go the aerodynamic pressure will always push down the rear wing so you will never end up uh, with a stuck rear wing that's impossible unless you choose so nevertheless we have lots of new details in the car that are hidden under this beautiful cover and uh, obviously we hope that those news do allow us to fight for podiums and may even victories cross fingers let's see